Pardon? This is like old time. Him? Oh, I actually saw this <clears throat> in New York City. Oh, really? This or When I was in my first year of college. Thomas the Point. What sort of bird shall we choose as the symbol of our universe? The eagle. It's a turkey. The eagle. The eagle. The eagle. The turkey. The eagle. The eagle is a majestic bird. The eagle is a scavenger of feet and a coward. A symbol of the 10th centuries of European mischief. A turkey. The turkey is truly a noble bird. The American lost the substance of our original sailors. An incredibly brave fellow who will not flinch at attacking a regiment of Englishmen. Single handedly. Therefore, the National Bird of America is going to be the eagle. The eagle. We're waiting for the chirp, chirp, chirp of the eaglet being born. Waiting for the chirp, chirp, chirp on this humid Monday morning in this congressional Let's John Adams, Ben Franklin, and Thomas We're Jefferson. waiting for the scratch, scratch, scratch of that tiny little fellow. Waiting for the egg to hatch on this humid Monday morning in this congressional incubator. God knows the temperature's hot enough to hatch a stone. What will it hatch? <coughs> The declaration will be a triumph. I tell you, a triumph. I'm sure of anything I'm sure of that. If it isn't, we've still got four days left to think of something else. The eagle's going to crack the shell of the egg that England laid. That's what we can tell, tell, tell. On this humid Monday morning in this Congressional incubator. And just as time here is written, though the shell may be lost to Great Britain, the eagle inside belongs to us. And just as time here is written, we say to hell with Great Britain, the eagle inside belongs to us.
John McMillan's <laughs> and illustrated by Ross Kinnear. I need a new bum. Mine's got a tap. I can see in the mirror a crack at the back. Did I do it on the slide or on the banister inside? Or when I jumped my BMX? Or with the fat and up and next? Of course, the fat. That's what blew my bum apart. Thomas Jefferson admired most. Uh, if you visit uh, his Monticello uh, estate, the three paintings are still there in the entranceway uh, for Sir Isaac Newton, John Locke, and uh, Francis Bacon, if I recall correctly. Um, John Locke was a bit of a puzzle because as you read some of his, his works, you know that he's considered uh, the philosophical source for our Constitution, uh, for our, our uh, government, and for the narrative that legitimates it, that we've actually, I, not, I know I grew up just believing absolutely that our government was legitimate, that it, that it was based on principles that were, that ought to be universal, et cetera. I've, of course, since learned that it's not, uh, universal at least. There's plenty of countries out there that are uh, based on totally different principles, some not even remotely similar to ours. Um, <coughs> and that the social contract was a relatively new philosophical approach to government that ties into, as we've already talked about, Hobbes uh, and a few others. Uh, but Locke especially, Rousseau was another social contract philosopher, failed, as, as I think we probably mentioned, uh, talking about the uh, French Revolution based on his uh, idea of government. And that was a dismal failure. Remember the guillotine is the most famous part of that. Um, uh, but Locke's was successful because we're here. And so his, his uh, philosophy 